You know, you know. Smoking is a leading cause of preventable death. Why are we the target? Why are we the target? Advertising our community to artists with this vaping garbage. Yeah, they tryna take us away, they tryna take us away, they tryna smoke us away until we gone. Yeah, they tryna take us away, they tryna take us away, they tryna smoke us away until we gone. 85% black, menthol smokers, you tell me that. Cause we're being targeted. Alright, alright, hey, the ladies in the house, if you looking good, say ow. Ah. Okay. Fellas, fellas, fellas in the house, if you, if you know that you got it going on, say woo, 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 woo. CEO and founder of SMC. I really, really like want to say that we are so happy that you all came out and you know spent some time with us and also just to support our local artists. You know, we know that this is Black History Month. However, let me just say this: it's Black History Day every day. Every day. You know what I'm saying? 365. Say that. Say that. We don't keep every day. You know what I'm saying? So listen, this is a celebration. All right, this is this is an honor of you know, our ancestors. This is an honor of everything of black excellence today and moving forward. So let's give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Having said that, you know, before we go any further, I want to ask one of my friends and colleagues to come up, you know, and just say a few words. Christoph Jenkins from Poor Life. Let's give him a round of applause. Please. How y'all doing tonight? Beautiful, beautiful. So I just got off the flight from Kentucky, but I'm from the DMV area. Anybody know DC? No? Just, yeah. There we go. There we go. Cool. Baltimore's here. Baltimore. Baltimore. I'm um, glad to be here. It's cold, but I'm glad to be here. And uh, I represent the AATCLC, the African American Tobacco Control Leadership Council. I'm the creative strategist. And these are the type of e e events and projects that we do to raise awareness. Uh, as far as tobacco control because big tobacco companies are targeting us and our youth all right and so uh, they see the value in spoken word and poetry and the arts to help enhance their messaging because we know poetry has inspiration information education representation all of the above in just one poem Okay, so I'm glad to be here and I'm excited to uh, experience you all's art here in Buffalo. So let's rock out, let's do it. I'm going to share some specific information surrounding menthol tobacco, as Christoph just said. If you haven't or if you aren't aware, the, uh, the tobacco industry can target our community, all right, the African American and black community. 45,000 African Americans, let me slow down. 45,000 African Americans die each year as a result of the menthol tobacco targeted marketing. And let me be clear, we're not against those who smoke or those who utilize tobacco. However, what we are against and want to raise awareness and education is that how the tobacco industry is trying to dupe us, how they have appropriated or misappropriated our culture right, to make it seem like we are right invented menthol. We invented a lot of things, but menthol was a one of them. Let me say that. Okay? So I want to give a shout out to um, Terry Alford and staff here at the Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor. I want to also thank Sherman Webb, who's on the videography. Uh, also, thank you, DJ Hands, you know, as well, who's got the wheels and stills. And also, just all of you once again. So, having said that, without further ado, I'm going to ask Angel Lee, does Angel Lee, to come up and kick us off. Let's give her a nice round of applause. Okay, I have Stay in the Man, I got Poet Life here, and I got all of you. We have a lot of talent here in the city of Buffalo. So when I reached out and said, if you're a poet and you know it, listen, I got a lot of hits. Okay, some people I didn't even know, but they reached out, and I appreciate that. We have a lot of people here doing great things. So our next poet coming up, I need you to give her two snaps, a clap, and throw your head back. Miss Chantel Patton, the brown bag lady. <laughs> 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 
Y'all mind if I make a quick call? Hello? Newport. You and me, we had a bond. A hot, steamy, sexy, sultry affair where every drag felt like midnight whispers. And it didn't matter if I couldn't breathe. I didn't need to come up for air. We had a, no, I can't save you shorts, treat every hit like my last hit kind of entanglement. Tell you go when I mean say, unsaid words hanging in the air kind of thing. And I'm sorry, boo. I just can't spare none for you type of love. It felt just too good to share. You were my smooth operator, my urban king, and inhaling your essence felt like a scene from a BET plus, not to be hip hop kind of fling. <laughs> from the corner store to the downtown city streets, I'd do you anywhere. I couldn't keep my hands off you. We were like two royals in heat. You were my sneaky link, my thrill, my boo thing, my guilty pleasure, a love-hate affair I couldn't explain or measure. With your smoke wrapped around my body, I'd lose control, lost in the haze, surrendering to your seductive hold. But beneath your minty facade lies a toxic game, a tangled web of, addic of addiction where I got lost and eventually burned in it by your flame. Your menthol embrace a deceptive delight, leaving me searching with a flashlight in the daytime, craving like a fiend in the dead of the night. Like a hustler on the block, you played your role, feeding me just enough of your delicious poison to keep me hanging on, seducing with promises of power and control. But now I see through your smoke screen, that facade starting to fall apart, your disguise. I'm breaking free from this addiction. Like Michelle A, I'm done, no, no more lies. So farewell, Newport, it's time to break free. No more late night rendezvous, no more answering your calls late night. I'm not picking up at two in the morning, 2.30 or three. I'll reclaim my throne, fix the tilt on my crown, flick off the ashes of our love and like Trey songs, I gotta go now. I'll walk these streets with a new stride, no longer chained down by your toxic vibe. I'll embrace this hustle with open arms and let the rhythm of this new free life be my charm. Adieu, Newport. Our chapters close tight. I'm stepping back into the day and reclaiming my right. No longer suffocated by your toxic flow. I'm breathing easy now, because I'll let you go. Well, coming to the night next, delicious, delicious cookie. Oh Roll it up, mm. light it up, mm -hmm. inhale. Roll it up, light it up. Inhale. Now watch your health fail. Too lazy to work with their hands. Black bodies stolen from the motherland. Working hunched over and bent. Shoulders? <laughs> nah, we stand on the backs of giants. Hot, angry, inwardly defiant. But the threat of the whip kept them in line. Don't slip. The threat of the whip were kings and queens from sun up to sundown. Tobacco buried deep in blood soaked grounds. They hauled and cured tobacco leaves. None of their efforts created a black money tree. And when the shackles came off their feet, it left them with the question, well, damn, how we gonna eat? No 40 acres, no mules, no, no reparations, no free schools, but in a land where cotton was king, don't forget, tobacco also bought them white things. Tobacco picked by our ancestors benefited their oppressors, and now, Tobacco benefits privileged predecessors. They reap what black hands sow, their generational wealth, and the byproduct, our generational health. Yes, cancer caused by secondhand smoke, voices in the background screaming, take that Newport outside so the baby don't choke. The toxins seeping through their skin, asthma, respiratory, ear infections, grandmother's protection blowing smoke in the baby's face. That old wives tale, that craziness was definitely fake. Now we know better, but do we do better? Black babies and mothers still at risk, black maternal health precarious, and part of it is those little white cancer sticks. But we roll it up, light it up, inhale. Roll it up, light it up, 
inhale and watch your health fail and how do we mm. get here addicted to the menthol stained teeth black lungs and all rj and them came for poor communities specifically in the 60s targeted black people who are still affected disproportionately passed out those cancer sticks from white vans toxic then and toxic now only then it wasn't some pedo clown enticing little black kids it was tobacco with menthol and 40 years later that's what it took to outlaw. Oh, Lawsuits yes. couldn't stop a billion dollar industry. Black victims expendable. Friendly fire to healthcare disparities and we roll it up. Mm. Light it up. Come on. Inhale. Come on. Roll it up. Light, Light it up. up. Inhale. And What's here we that? are. Here we are. I ain't never been a Virginia Slim nor a Ku King. I was warned not to try those addictive things and I didn't want no marble man lighting a camel to rescue me. I thought I was too pretty to be a tobacco queen and a moment of silence for those 90s and tobacco fiends. Coolers and rulers not like Slick Rick but cocaine lace cancer sticks. They made zombies out of black youth who thought smoking was cool because RJ and Morris made it look so smooth. And this is a children's story, a cautionary tale. Tobacco ain't nothing but legal crack and once started, hard to step back. I wonder what vaping will bring. Probably more of the same thing. Their generational wealth sealed our generational health, but we still roll it up. Light it up. Inhale. Roll it up. Light it up. Inhale. Now watch your health fail. Just give me some. Come on. Where a black guy smiling with pearly teeth yeah. is holding a bogey. Mm. Seems like sweet relief, don't it? Mm -hmm. You know what? I was approached by a liar who said I could get higher. Smoke these after trees, Virginia Slims, the supplier. Mm -hmm. Head rush had me clutching more often. Mm -hmm. Thought I was cool with the cool, even though I was. <laughs> See, I'm a fiend for the nicotine. The first hit of a long or short, I need to smoke after I shit. When I awake and after court, shit. <laughs> Either one, basketball, or brew, or child support. Won't put pork on my fork, but will spark up a, por a pork. Come on. Smoke cancer stick for 20 years. Plus my brother died from lung cancer. Mm -hmm. Do I have complications? <clears throat> Can you guess the answer? Mm -hmm. Weakened breathing, damaged eyes, corrupted sinuses, wasted diet. Mm -hmm. I wish I never picked one up. Come on. I wish I ignored the call. Come on. I had my share of lives destroyed by big tobaccos, menthol. Is that? <laughs> Our next poet up. She likes to litter. <laughs> but she's not good. Let's give it up for Bianca L. Period McGraw. <laughs> Yell out. Yo! I got greens and reds! I got greens and reds! I got Lucy's too! I was like, is he selling rapid paper? <laughs> then I realized he was talking about cigarettes. <clears throat> Ain't it funny? How this country has a smoke screen of red, whites, and blues where you have to cough your way through muddy waters as white bands like Led Zeppelin steal our blues. Oh. Copyright infringement 
children ain't got nothing on America's greatest theft because they love inhaling away all of the time. Y'all got left. Come on. Held hostage and enslaved, face the harvest crops like tobacco. We all yearn to take a smoke break just to wheeze in a little bit of freedom, only to be choked out by the gallows. Oh. Ain't it funny how commerce has a smoke screen of red, whites, and blues? Like tobacco campaigns that commercially target black communities and schools, exhaling out influential donations for black scholarships and commercialized funds for black organizations and lands. Mm. All because Big Daddy Tobacco has spent a lot of money mm. to put Puff Puff and Pass in those black hands. You better say it, girl. <laughs> Ain't it funny how the healthcare center, the healthcare system has a smoke screen of red, whites, and blues where they believe that we are high <laughs> enough to trust the white doctors, hospitals, and news, hoping we eat all the Tuskegee flavored edibles like they fruit chews. <laughs> Ain't it funny? How this combination of bullshit has us lit up to discriminatory and hateful fumes, burning out the trust with ash from houseful disparities and tombs, while screaming out, yo, we got greens and reds, we got greens and reds, we got Lucy's too. <laughs> Ain't it funny? <laughs> How capitalism has a smoke screen of red, whites, and blues. Mm. Extra addictive minty menthol flavor since the 1950s. Groove your way into a new pack since the 1970s. Hip hop and icon of lighter since the 1980s. Even in the 2000s, flavor tobacco products are still giving more shelf space in the black stores. Mm -hmm. Ain't it funny mm -hmm. how a flavored cigarello can taste like racism? Mm -hmm. Yo, mm -hmm. they get our green. Why they cancer our red? <laughs> they get our green. <laughs> Why they cancer our red? <laughs> I guess that means we must be Lucy's too. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> coming to the stage, give me two. A clap and throw your head back. Cash is green. Peace, peace. Y'all can hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right. I see the mirrors hidden deep inside the smoke. He had a vision, never seen his dream afloat. Packs of nicotine corrode the lining of his throat. Inhaling every problem because he been let go of hope. Used to be a baller, he was nice up on the court. Now we chain smoke before we walk inside the court. One time he said he wanted to quit, but just reduced it as a thought. Couldn't see the bigger picture, nor the blackness of his heart. The way the story ends is never how the chapters start. You be going inside the wind, not even be an afterthought. Playing with your life can leave a cancer of his bite. Your whole world slowed down like you dirty to Sprite. Got you scrapping up the change, asking niggas for lights. Mm -hmm. Then you take your walk of shame back to your home that night. Taking sips and blowing squares cause you alone that night. And got no other options left, so figure wrong just right. You seen the generation prior smoking on that pipe. Living life like Richard Pryor on a Saturday night. And search for things that get you higher than your actual life. A broken vision that yourself could really shatter your sight. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. Champ is here. Um, uh, excuse me, I'm left breasted. Oh, I'm left breasted. How am I doing it twice? All right, you all. I just want to say, no, I don't, I, no, 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 no. My, my mic sounds nice, check one. But I just want to say, before I proceed to give y'all what y'all need, everybody that went before me, John Blaze. John Blaze. John Blaze. And I thank I thank uh, Miss An Angel Lee. Come on, it, it is the place to be. But this joint right here, right there, come on, right there. This is a general warning. Mm. I'm about to recite the Surgeon General's warning. Mm. Quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risk to your health, mm. and they steadily flying off the shelf. Perhaps this uh, disclaimer was provided after so many of the voiceless, those with surgically removed voice boxes, Come on. voicing their grievance Come on. after pledging their allegiance mm. to a 
product that's man made, machine or handmade, made to be in the hands of basically every American. If they're so unfit or unsafe to indulge in by us human beings, why are they still continuously selling them? Allegedly responsible for countless souls deemed unalive. For a brief period of time, this one particular menthol brand which crossed my mind came in packs of 25. Ooh. New to the port, others were slim and sleek like Virginia. Come on. A sort of bogey, if you will, aimed at women. Just for the gals. Mm -hmm. Robust and strongly opinionated with no filter mm. was her pops, pal Mal. <laughs> her mother was real cool, kept in 100s, yet somewhat smooth and mild. Younger sister Capri, slender in size too, who was a nicotine love child. <laughs> Them brown boys more, kind of small in stature as well. Cousins Benson and Hedges, when both names mentioned, ring bells. True to life, heavy chest busters, uh. known to bring the havoc. Uh. You got to know when to hold and fold them, okay. like the patriarch of the bunch. Let us not forget the maverick. Yeah. <laughs> Uncles Winston and Salem, uh. who went to see a marble man about a camel or a horse, but of course this wasn't their first rodeo. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uncles Winston and Salem? Come on. Who went to see a marbles man about a camel or a horse, but of course this wasn't their first rodeo. Referred to as cowboy killers. Oh. Manufactured with 69 carcinogens, over at least 4,000 deadly chemical fillers. Dang. Can I get a say what? what? Can I get a wait what? Wait, what? Hold on a minute, just wait. When burned? Bronchitis and COPD wonder twin powers to the 7,000 power activate. Yeah. Marketing strategy is to appeal to the population, but mainly targeting the youth. If I'm being totally honest, brutally honest, without the smoke and mirrors, we'd all be staring at a reflection of the naked truth. <laughs> what? Hold the, hold the phone, because y'all done got me way in my feelings. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Wait a second now. Hold on. Yeah, we'd all be staring at that. What? By any means necessary. Designed to get a grip on that certain demographic. With catchy slogans, visually bright and vibrant graphics. Mm. With catchy slogans, visually bright and vibrant gra uh, graphics. Verbally using slang terminology, preparing them, programming them to be sprung. Mm. Until they reached about middle age or by some lucky strike spike borderline elderly status. Mm. <coughs> coughing up a black and lung. Mm -hmm. Secondhand side effects applies when excessively inhaled or smelt. Mm -hmm. Generations watch the, are watching death rates increasing, but increasingly building the fund of somebody else's family, corporations, billions of dollars worth of generational wealth. Mm -hmm. Don't get it twisted. Most come pre rolled and you can twist it yourself. Mm -hmm. Whichever way you choose to roll, they can be extremely bad for your health. Mm -hmm. In closing, my tone of voice can be described as rich, deep, manly, Louise Jefferson-like or sounds rather raspy. <laughs> because personally, I myself happen to become a victim of smoking these addictive cigarettes and succumb mm. to the tobacco industry, even though this habit form and vice is quite nasty. Mm -hmm. I regret the day I put one of those vile things in my mouth. Mm -hmm. As I'm remembering the enslaved, mm -hmm. those in unmarked graves, mm -hmm who tended fields on tobacco plantations in the South. Mm -hmm. This has been a general warning, recited about the Surgeon General's warning. Mm -hmm. Smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancies. Mm -hmm. I really fully hope y'all enjoyed my poetic commentary. <laughs> Get on. <laughs> Oh, so I also want to uh, give a couple of shout outs to some people who are 
<laughs> been, been um, working with us since we started. The uh, Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor, when we started this shirt five years ago, they adopted a policy, all right, to be tobacco free and vape free. And I also, my man back there, Reggie from Manners, when I first started this work five years ago, he signed the policy with us to make his restaurant, all right, tobacco free as well. So thank you, my brother. All right, thank you. All right, and also I got my brother with Sean there, all right, who does a lot of work with me in the community in Erie, Niagara County. I'm giving a shout out and all of you. So here we go, here we go. All right. Woo, it was tough. Yo, it was hot. It was fierce up in here. The competition was like off the chain. Give it up, give it up. All right. I'm going to ask uh, Bianca to please come up, please. I'm going to ask Chandrell Green to come up, please. Oh, goodness. Goodness. My bad. Goodness. <laughs> and Cookie, please, to come up. We're going to start with our third place awardee. All right. Our, our third place, our third place prize winner of two hundred and fifty dollars is Bianca L. Carey. has really been piloting and been, been selected to do this work, so we're looking forward to working with all of the poets, all of the artists as we move forward. Let's give it up for all the poets once again. Yeah. All right. Man, it's cold out here, ain't it? Yeah. Freeze. Freeze. Yeah. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay. Here we go, all right. We got cooking, we got good. This was tough. This was like, this was, this, this was like, yo, it was hot. All right. Can I get a drum roll here? You got a drum roll back there? You got something? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Our second place winner is me. Goodness. <laughs> Take us away, they tryna smoke us away